ready for a spend time for New Day Hot Topics. Joining us today are three of the Seattle gents who are featured in an article about Northwest menswear in the September issue of 425 Magazine. Please welcome Antonio Smith, Richard Meharry, and Alex Huey. Not yeah. pictured in that red dress. That's the 425 Magazine. How are you guys? Well, um, hey. Antonio, tell me a little bit about this article. Is it kind of trying to get us uh, to elevate a little bit beyond fleece and plaid. Right. Yeah. That's the whole. That's the whole. Not that there's anything wrong with there, fleece and plaid. Because uh, there isn't. There's yeah. no. There's no uh, wrong thing with right. that. But, but it's all, Seattle gents are basically all about like. Uh, building up the style scene here and um, just kind of like creating and collaborating and building a community. I think that's pretty much it. And say. you guys do Instagram and we can oh, kind of yeah. see yeah. what you're experimenting with. YouTube. Plaid. I, I was going to uh, say, I felt kind of hurt. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> it's far for me to put down the plaid since I wear it a lot. Okay, so we're going to start with a fashion story. Normally we spin the wheel, but this is what we do sometimes. We just cheat. Fashion front. All right. Um, <laughs> So this is one of the newest things. You've seen these crazy jeans yeah. at Nordstrom that that supposedly have mud on them. They cost like $425, yeah, which I would have done for $300 if you want me to. Okay. Um, Top Shop has also debuted some jeans with clear plastic kneecaps, which sounds really uncomfortable. And now we have sort of the plumber's butt pants where you like literally can't bend over without yeah. exposing <sighs> your your buns. Uh. What um, Your fashion people, tell me, explain this to me. I mean... I, I'll have the dissenting opinion and say, you know, if you got a little muffin top, like, it's air it out. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that is a sentence that has never been said on this show before. <laughs> what do you think is behind this craziness? I don't know. It's like I, a pet rock or something. You buy this and you're surely not going to wear it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, it's, it sounds interesting in theory. I have to see it actually proven that somebody looks... <laughs> I don't know. So if she bends over, she's going to have an auto wedgie. It's yeah. just not good. Thoughts? I, d I don't know. There are some things. There's some things that I, I don't know need to be shown always. Right. <laughs> out in public. Yeah. <laughs> and so yeah. for me, I'm a little more conservative anyway, and I, I'm not sure that I quite understand the thinking behind those ones myself. All right. Well, we'll do some more investigation, see if we can ever find out what the thinking was. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was Fashion Front. We Ooh, did that. Yeah. What do we want to do? Let's see. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll spin. I'll spin. I'll spin. Um, hometown headlines. All right, so this is kind of cool. An artist um, does this all over uh, all over the country. He finds sort of the interesting intersections in um, various cities, and then he makes art, you know, describing how crazy they are. Mm -hmm. And he says that Seattle's layout is uniquely wacky in the yeah. in the world. <laughs> and so he's made this map, and hopefully we can show it to you. It looks like some crazy symbols, but it gets like the the seven point <laughs> intersection that's happening mm -hmm. on yeah, Queen Anne. Right. And look at these are actual intersections. That, yeah. that are you surprised? Surprised that we are the most, we are the wackiest, according to him. I, I'm not surprised. I mean, <laughs> we kind of have some weird streets, like because of all the the hills and everything that are going on. I actually like the way this looks. It, it, I feel like everybody. Isn't that cool? The art, though, out yeah, of it. Yeah. yeah. And it, everybody will know what these streets exactly. are. You're going, yes. Yep, I almost run I into somebody every time I leave Fremont. Exactly. You know what? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know what that yeah. is. All right. So I have to get your um, your thought on this. Say what? Um, pumpkin <laughs> spice deodorant. We didn't think, I wish Susie Wiley was here. I think she's like, hat, she's over pumpkin spice uh, and she but often it hasn't has. hasn't even started. It, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost pumpkin spice season, but there's pump, pumpkin spice everything. It's called native deodorant and it's got all the cool stuff, shea butter, jojoba oil, beeswax, coconut oil, and vitamin E. And then they had to find like 14 different ingredients, including magnolia, etc., to make you smell like pumpkin spice from your armpits. So, are we in or out? Uh, no, I think it's getting out of control. Yes. <laughs> I mean, You're no yeah, on the no, pumpkin spice uh, armpits. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, what's next? Earl Grey tea? Or, <laughs> that's, that's or, <laughs> in or out on pumpkin See, spice deodorant? See, I'm in as a single man. I see <laughs> all the ladies that go get pumpkin spice every year. Yeah. So, you know, it's cuddling season, you know? <laughs> Gotta keep them close. A thinker. This mm. one's a thinker. Alex? Well, I... I don't like pumpkin spice in so, general, so this is a no. But this I has got to be a hard time of year for you coming <laughs> it out. It is a horrible time of year yeah. for me. 
but I, I, I love coffee, but I'm not sure I want to walk around smelling like coffee, and I'm not sure other people want me to smell like coffee. It, well, it's an interesting thought because there was a study once that men are very attracted to women who smell like cookies, like mm. things that smell like vanilla um, mm. in in perfume is is apparently very appealing. I think yeah. people just like cookies. It could be, <laughs> could be, but they also like women who smell like cookies. So yeah. I thought, well, I don't know if you really like pumpkin spice, but then they would be thinking that's emanating from your underarm. Right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. it's just so strange. Okay, so we're going to pretend that we landed on XO. Taylor Swift has come, uh, I didn't realize she hadn't released a, a record since 2014, but it has broken records everywhere. 19 million views um, when she put out her video, 8 million more streams on Spotify, and the video has currently 53 million views. Uh, it's just amazing. It's given her her third record, and it beat Adele's Hello, which kind of hurt me because um, I love Hello so much. What 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 are our thoughts on on Taylor Swift these days? Um, fan, not a fan. I'm not a huge fan of her music, but I do have to say, with this video, I am as an artist. Yeah. She's taking chances, and I have to applaud her for that for taking chances. Pushing. Cause yeah, because she's so successful, so. You know, I'm kind of like that. Thoughts? I thought it was a little dark for Taylor Swift as far as what she was trying to portray. Like, she's not that edgy. Like, she doesn't, it's not her lane. So, D but. it's not her lane. Did she succeed in the edginess, or did you just uh, kind of think it was think, really just more like a to talking piece? Off. Yeah, she just wanted the people to talk about her. Yeah. In her image, which you kind of saw at the end of the video, if you haven't seen it. Mission seen accomplished it. on that, I think. Yeah. Yes, Alex, what did you well, think? I, yeah, I thought the video was was kind of creative. I didn't like the ending. Um, mm -hmm. I thought that detracted from. I thought it detracted from the the mood of the video, but there was there was a point to it. Um, I didn't love the song, but the video was quite creative. Well, she is successful in getting us to talk all about her. Certainly. I wonder what she thinks about pumpkin pumpkin spice theater. <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to know. Thank you guys so hey, much for we'll following you, and you all thank look you. great, and, and yay for helping us elevate how we all look and feel about ourselves. We'll be right back. Yeah. Yeah.